Hello, and thanks for joining me today. I'm Jim Coppinger with Zentech Consultants, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about BricsCAD. Um, now, you know, you guys may have seen my previous videos uh, where I refer to, to BricsCAD as the better, smarter, faster CAD system out there on the market today. Um, and I've, I've said many times that I think it's the best CAD system to hit the market in decades. Um, and, and I'm trying to just give you some ideas here, and I want to show you some of the basic drafting functionality that's built into BricsCAD that makes actual day-to-day -day operations run smoother and faster than anything you've ever had before. So I'm going to show you two real simple tools here today. I'm going to show you how to use the Blockify tool, and I'm going to show you how to use the Manipulator tool. All right. So when you're working in BricsCAD, let's say, for example, we've got these sync layouts, and I need to adjust or move these sync layouts. But when I go in to my drawing to, to start moving these, I, I begin to realize that, uh-oh, these aren't blocks. These aren't groups, right? These are all individual polylines, and uh-oh. It's going to really slow things down, right? Trying to move and manipulate and rotate these individual sinks when every single one of these are all individual component pieces. And that's where the Blockify tool comes in. With Blockify, right, I can simply go in, choose one of these, all of those objects, and just hit enter. And BricsCAD goes through and it finds all of the instances of that type of line work throughout this entire document. Right, that quickly. And now you see as I pick on these, each one of these is now a block. It instantly converted all that line work for all of these into a block. And that's nice. So now I've got individual blocks. Okay? So I can go in and I can, you know, move move, you know, an individual sink, move that over, see it's one item. I'm gonna undo that. But I can take this a step further. Maybe I need to manipulate and change and modify where these go, but I want to do it as a group. I'm gonna repeat that blockify command. And this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the three sinks just like that and just like that instead of this being one object right now it's actually got those built in right? and I can actually move and manipulate and rotate and change where any of these objects go you see that each group is a group of three and that I can go in and I can you know select the grip points and I can move them around adjust them rotate them do whatever I need okay so just like that, I've grouped them together and it makes it a lot easier for me to move and manipulate and adjust these. Now, the other thing I want to show you is the manipulator. With the manipulator tool, what I can do is I can begin to edit and change and modify where these sinks lay out without having to run any commands. So I can just go in here and I can just click on this block and you see that I have the ability to go in and move it just by clicking here. You see, I can move it a set distance. I can type in specific numbers. Right? I can go in any direction, up or down. If I want to move it vertically, see I can slide my group of objects or my blocks. I can rotate them to any angle that I need and I can move the location. So you see right now it's coming in on the center of this sink, but if I wanted to rotate these maybe around you know, the, the corner of that sink instead, I can just grab that gray item, move it down to there. Now you see I can rotate around that angle and that structure to pull these down to any angle that I want. And I can type in if I want to put that at a 90 degree rotation in that direction. Okay, and then I can move this back up to wherever I need it to be to lay it out along that wall. And just like that, right? without ever having to run a command, I can move and manipulate with specific distances and angles using the manipulator tool. So by using the combination of the manipulator tool and the Blockify, I can do layouts in seconds that used to take me hours. That's why I call it the Better, Faster, Smarter Drafting System. Bricks Cat is the way to go.